Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unbox You with Marty. Appreciate you stopping by. I'll tell you what, if you haven't figured it out by looking at this, we're going to have a look at another Linux distro. This one, we're going to look at a uh, Linux distro called Solus 4.7 GNOME. Fun. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a heads up. Check this out. Navigation is going to be kind of fun with this one. Uh-huh, right? Kind of some cool stuff there. So, uh, without taking up too much of your time, let's just... Uh, dive in and do a high-level test drive of this Solus 4.7 GNOME. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and the videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. When you uh, subscribe to this channel, you're helping this channel grow and it's really appreciated. If you like this video, click likes. Likes are always good. And if you got comments or suggestions uh, on this Linux uh, distro, please put them in the comments section below. Love to hear from you. So uh, I'll tell you what, let's get back to this video. Well, here we are. We've landed on the desktop of Solus 4.7 GNOME. So before we uh, do this high-level test drive, let's just see what we've got under the hood here. So I'm just going to slide up here. I'm going to take the mouse, hit the upper left corner here. You see that? Uh, hit a hot spot there. You can see that if I do that. You can see that little uh, flash of light up there. Now, sometimes if you don't hit it just right, maybe I'm going to see. See there. It didn't quite work right because obviously I moved this way. It wasn't such a deliberate tap into the upper left corner. But uh, we'll do that one more time. I'm going to slide up there. Just left click with the mouse and there you go. All right, so let's take a look. What do I have under the hood here? Let's uh, go to the apps here and we're going to go to settings. We'll let the settings load and let's take a look at the about. And here we go. So you can see uh, I'm running Solus 4.7. Uh, a little bit about the uh, mini PC, the processor, the memory, and my disk capacity. But we're going to take a closer look. Let's go to system details. So let's go here. And again, on the left side, you've got some hardware information on the mini PC I'm using. And on the right side, we've got some software information on the uh, mini PC that I'm using. So we're going to go ahead and close this out. And I'll tell you what, why don't we take a look at some of the applications that came with this. Now, something I want to point out too, uh, later on, uh, we're going to get into the navigation. You kind of got a taste of it when I hit that. That is kind of cool. So you can see, you know what I'm going to do here? Take it another step further. Uh, you can see right here, you've got these two workspaces here. Later on in the video, we're going to explore that a little bit further. But let's uh, dig into some of these apps here. So these are the apps that come with, uh, they come uh, with the install of uh, so it's 4.7 GNOME, and let's just take a look at a couple here. So popular one, of course, part of your uh, productivity suite is LibreOffice. So here we've got LibreOffice uh, Writer. And you know what? I'm going to just shrink this down a little bit. And let's go back and take a look at another one. Let's see. Let's we'll slide this up here. Uh, let's go back down, and we're going to take another one. Let's try. Well, you know what? Let's go with the calculator. And that'll load up. And now we're going to just try to grab one more. Let's take a look. Uh, we're going to go down here to the, go to the apps and let's try, you know what, let's, uh, you know what, let's go with this. Let's go with files. That's always a good place to start. So now we've got three apps open. Why? Okay. One thing I always like to do is take a look and see how I can play with the real estate on the desktop. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to drag in the corner. It doesn't work. You only can get 50%. Something to think about. So we're going to do that again here with the uh, LibreOffice writer. So I'm going to take this Again, I'm going to try to drag in the upper corner, try to drag in the lower corner. Uh, we're not seeing that. So basically here we can uh, split apps onto a single screen at a 50-50 uh, real estate split. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink these down. Uh, let's go here. There you go. We got it like that. So, all right, we're going to step into navigation, but let's do a quick refresher on the apps that come with it. So let's take a look here. Uh, just going to run through here. You can get an idea of the apps that... Uh, come with the install of uh, Solus 4.7 GNOME. So we're just going to slide through here. Here's utilities. Give you an, eye right, an idea right there. Uh, we'll slide through these a little bit. And so now let's go back to where we left off. And uh, here we go. Now, I don't know if you saw what I just did there. All right, what I did. Well, you can't see it because you can't see the keyboard. But if you hit the uh, hotkey or on a Windows keyboard, the Windows key, check it out. So I can tap it. And uh, I go through the full screen, tap it once. Uh, you can get into the, uh, well, you can see all three apps there on the workspace. I'm gonna go back, we're gonna back it out. Now I'm gonna tap it twice real fast. And there you go. 
Now you can see everything here. Now, keep an eye here, up here in the search tab, let's just type text. And you can see, I didn't even finish typing the word text, but I'll finish it right now. Uh, you can pull up a text editor right there. So there we go. It'll load up in just a moment. Now you've got a text app. So now let's uh, hit that uh, Windows hotkey one more time. And there you can see that. Now, what we're going to do here is part of the navigation. Uh, we'll tap twice real quick to see what we've got there. Now I'm going to take this. Now watch carefully. You see two workspaces here. I'm going to take this one. You can see me dragging it. And there you go. Now I'm going to hit the uh, Windows key. There you go. So uh, I'm going to tap up here. And if I go over here and slide over here, you can see now I've got another workspace here with just the, uh, the text editor. Go back here. So what I'm going to try here is I'm going to take this calculator and I'm going to slide it up to this third workspace. Now you see over here in the corner, this indicates how many workspaces you've got open. This is the one I'm using. Number one, you got number two, number three, number four. Number four is blank. Uh, you'll get the idea here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take files and slide it right up there. And there you go. Now that uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five. So you've got five workspaces. Keep in mind that last workspace will be blank. Uh, again, here in the corner, one, two, three, four, five. Now, let's uh, take another step on this navigation. I uh, have a touchpad uh, on this Logitech keyboard. So, two fingers. Uh, I'm going to take two fingers and slide left and right. You can navigate this way. You get the idea. Uh, you can also take your two fingers and push up and down. Same thing. Left and right navigation. And again, with your mouse, using the uh, scroll wheel, you can navigate left and right as well. All right, from here, we're going to use the function key on the keyboard, and we're going to use the arrow keys. So press the function key, and if you can, uh, you can hit the left or right key. Now, what I want to draw attention to before I do this, keep an eye, keep an eye on where we are on, uh, on these uh, workspaces here. So obviously, we're on the workspace one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the function key, and I'm going to hit the uh, right arrow, and look at it. It jumps me all the way to... Uh, the one, two, three, four, fifth workspace. Again, I'm going to hit the uh, left arrow all the way back. Now, if I choose to hit the up and down arrows, you can see I'm moving one at a time across. Just another part of the navigation. I'll tell you what, uh, there are three more items that I want to have a look at here before I draw this video to a conclusion. So one of the items that I think uh, a lot of individuals are curious about is the background. So you can see here's the background, how I got there. Take the mouse and I'm going to right click change the background and we'll let it load and there you go you can see the backgrounds here that are available you get the idea again now let's go through that here you've got your style so right now I'm using the default I can click on dark there you got it you kind of see it there's the dark you get the idea I'm gonna go back to the default we're gonna close this out and uh, let's see what else we want to take a look at we'll take a look at the uh, you know what this is important we'll go here go down here to the software center there you go, Software Center. This is where you go to get the apps. So you can always go here to Updates. You can see if there's an update. Check it out. Uh-oh, there's an update that I need to do, so I'll probably do that after I finish this video. You can take a look at Installed. You can go with Third Party. You can search. So you can always search out apps if, you're, uh, if you want to add something here. Of course, let's just try... We'll try a couple. Let's try Browser. Now we got a list of browsers, so you know some of you might recognize Brave. Let's try something else. Uh, let's see if there's some scanning software. All right, we're gonna slide south. I'm gonna take a look, and I know down here, well, Simple Scan. That's something you can just drill into it. You get an idea, get some details. You can read about it, and again, uh, if you want to install the app. Go ahead and click the install and you can uh, move forward with that. So let's close this out. Now, one more thing I want to cover here, and it's something I always consider is very important when you're exploring a distro, is so always go to that web page. Now, here we're taking a look at the Solus web page. Uh, we're going to click on the download screen and I'm going to expand it. And of course, uh, there are four releases available right now of Solus. You can take a look at it. I mean, these are the current releases. Uh, the one we're running right now is Solus GNOME. And what I like about this web page is it makes it very easy to find out what uh, 
here, right here, uh, system requirements. Ensure your system meets our installation requirements. So let's click here. And there you go. Uh, our system requirements, very easy to follow. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to pretty much uh, draw this video to a conclusion. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, it's always appreciated when you subscribe to this channel. You're helping this channel grow. And uh, likes are always good. And if you have your thoughts or comments or suggestions, uh, please be sure to put them in the uh, comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.